We have to, in some ways, assume that we're carrying it, um, especially because we know that you can be completely asymptomatic but still be carrying it. So we just want to put a barrier between our germs and the chimps as much as we can. So we're all wearing gloves that we're changing frequently and we're wearing masks to protect them from us. We just are going along as usual, and you can see the chimps are just doing their thing. Um, so our day-to-day -day doesn't change that much, except that we're wearing scrubs and masks and gloves, and we're not letting the chimps touch our skin at all. Um, and we just have a really drastically reduced number of people here. <laughs> Knock on wood, we've been pretty lucky over the years. Like, we haven't, stuff goes around the staff, and you yeah. know, partly because of, uh, yeah, Oregon Humane is a really good organization. Oh, so good idea. Yeah. yeah, I lived in the South for six years and no rest. In captivity, though, it's not the same culture. So, Jamie didn't grow up with any remnants. He uh, loves food. <laughs> and so, at that point, what are you going to do with him? Put him in a cage in your backyard for 40 years? Um, 